one way. And here we have a 6.2 litre V8 Chevrolet Camaro SS and the new 5 litre Ford Mustang Boss 302. Can you guess what happens next? Now, given that the Mustang has got 444 brake horsepower and 380 pound foot, next to the Camaro's 400 brake horsepower and 410 pound foot, you might have imagined that that drag race would be a bit closer. However, those people familiar with the original Boss 302 will know that it was a race inspired car and it was a benchmark for performance and handling. And this new Boss 302 is no different. So, whilst the Camaro is pretty good in its own right and is cheaper than the Mustang at £35,000 next to the Mustang at £41,000 after import, they're really on different playing fields. To give you an idea of how significantly updated the Boss 302 is over the standard Mustang, most of the essential engine bits have been reworked, so it's got a race spec crankshaft, redesigned intake manifold, reworked cylinders and piston heads all of which is intended to allow the car to breathe better and allow it to rev all the way up to 7,500 RPM as opposed to the 7,000 RPM that the standard GT car does. It also has new exhausts, which I think you'll agree sound pretty good. What's crucial about the 302? That it's not just a faster Mustang. It's got a bigger rear anti-roll bar, lowered springs, short shifting gearbox, it even has adjustable dampers. So, it actually goes around corners pretty well. As well as still being a bit of a legend at this. <laughs> Essentially, the Boss 302 is not just a variation on a familiar theme. It actually redefines what we should expect of muscle cars. And frankly, it's just bloody brilliant. <laughs>